Hey guys, so I'm finally here to do a review, and I'm here to review The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. This book is freaking amazing. Um, I'm definitely, um, I definitely love this series. Can't wait to get into Never Fade. Um, I'm going to start that once I finish Origin, and I'm really excited to get into that. So, um... Yeah, this is a dystopian, paranorm a paranormal dystopian book about these kids who get sick when they're about 10 years old or around puberty. Um, maybe between the ages of 10 and 18. And they were getting sick and some of them would die and some of them wouldn't. Well, the ones who didn't die, they um, mutated and they got special powers. So, um... There were different levels. There's five different levels. There's green where they're super smart. They have a really good memory and they can solve puzzles and they're just really good at math and they're super, super smart. The yellow is like tele... or not tele yellow. The um, blue is like telekinesis. They can move stuff with their mind. They can move trees. They can move objects and they just have stuff with telekinesis. Yellow is... Um, they can do stuff with electricity, they can manipulate electricity, they can um, out-circuit stuff, they can just anything that has to do with electricity they can do. Orange, which probably is the dangerous, um, they can do mind control, they have complete and control, they can have complete control over their mind, they can make you forget stuff, they can make you forget about somebody or themselves or they can make you do stuff. Um, they just have complete control over your mind when they touch you. So if they're holding your hand, um, they can also see your memories. So, and red is to do with fire. Now we don't get a big glimpse into um, red in this book because um, something happens with the, the yellows, the oranges, and the red. They're considered the worst. So, um, yeah, but this book is amazing. It is about a girl named Ruby who, she, when she turns 10 years old, she goes into a real, something happens with her parents and she goes into a rehabilitation camp where they're supposed to fix her. And she's there for about six years and something happens and she gets out of there. Well, when she's out, she meets three spunky kids who want to help her and they help her a little bit and then she decides to stay with them to look for the slip kid um and from there it's just action and craziness and oh my gosh so much happens um it's just it's crazy it's it's insane and um these kids these people are amazing you love them so much um, even Chubbs, you love him, and he, you're like, oh, okay, well, you're a jerk, but I can't help but love you. Like, all these characters are lovable, all the scenes are amazing, and when you think that there's no action, or that something, or that nothing's happening, something is happening, or something ends up happening, and it's just, it's crazy, it's insane. <sighs> yeah, so, that's my rambling for this book about what it's about. If you guys haven't read this book, you really need to go read it. Um, don't get spoiled. I didn't spoil myself for this book and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, you guys should definitely check this book out if you guys haven't read it. Again, The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. Um, go read it now. Like, don't even finish watching this video unless you have read this. Then stay. But if you haven't, leave. Okay, bye. Bye now, spoiler people! Okay. Let me just talk about this ending. I'm just, I'm cutting straight into the chase. I loved every scene. But this ending, starting off with Chubbs. I hope and I dream that Chubbs isn't dead. And I'm pretty sure he's not. But if he is, I, mm, I swear. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. So, Chubbs is shot. By Jack's dad like what they should have just read his letter like come on Ruby was right to pick up the letter and read it so Chubbs is shot and he's gone 
and Liam doesn't remember Ruby, and he's just off on his merry way. Like, come on, Ruby. I sat there, and I was crying. I'm like, Liam, no, no, Liam, no, no, no. <sighs> like, oh my gosh, okay. What was your guys' favorite part? My favorite part would have to be when they're talking to the guys about the slip kid, and Liam is like, you should probably take uh, Zoo out. And... And then he comes and he gets up and he's like, you're distracting them. And she's like, oh, sorry. And he's like, um, I can't remember what he said, but he says something about her face. And she's like, oh. <laughs> that was probably the funniest. Oh, my God. And when um, her and Chubbs are having that moment, that was probably the cutest moment ever. Because he was showing his sweet side. And it was just so cute. Like, oh, God, I love it. Okay. So, it's been a while since I've read this book. Um, honestly, it was like three books, four books ago. No, like five books ago. <laughs> so, I barely remember. I don't remember a lot. Um, okay, okay, okay. Kate. I liked her at the beginning, and I was like, okay, you know, she's pretty cool. Whatever. And then I thought maybe Rob was, um, he, like... I don't know. Okay, so I thought Rob was secretly bad, and he was going against the government, and that's why um, she saw what she saw. Um, and I thought um, he was just playing her, uh, Kate, and making her think of this stuff, but it turns out that he wasn't playing her. Um, like, I thought she was good. Um, yeah, Martin. That's all I can think about right now is Martin and how creepy he is. Like, I wanted to punch him in the face. I thought he was going to go make out with her or something. I don't know. He scared the crap out of me a little bit. But, oh, my Atlanta. This book was amazing. And, okay, so I thought one of my crazy crackpot theories when I was reading this book is, so you remember the guy at the very beginning where she was talking about how he, um, like lost a tooth and he was rebelling against them and then something happened and he like started a fire or something um i thought liam was the guy from the beginning of the book and i'm like this is it this is him this is him and it wasn't him and i'm like oh oh okay well that happened i just i can't get over this ending he was telling her a story and he's like i see you and this is happening, and then she's like, let me finish the story, and she, like, grabs him, and, like, finishes the story by making him forget her, like, really, Ruby, really, 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 Ugh. oh my god, and Clancy, Clancy freaked the crap out of me, like, I was terrified by him, he was, he was scary, like, scary, and Ruby's like, oh, maybe, like, at the beginning, she's like, Clancy, I don't like you, and then she's like, well, maybe I could like him. And I'm sitting there, no, Ruby, no. He is getting in your head, can't you tell? Ugh. And she's like, there's a voice in my in the back of my head telling me this. It's him, it's him, it's him, him, Ruby, him. Ugh. She made me so mad. I'm trying to think what else. Okay, so we got <laughs> my favorite line in the book that I probably will never forget is when they're driving and he's like, He's like, oh, it's okay, old man, you know, go ahead and drive slower, you know, shave, take a shower, you know, whatever. And when the guy is driving <laughs> I stopped and I took a picture of it. I thought that was the funniest thing ever. And, um, or when she's taking a shower and she's sitting there crying and it's like, he knew when he comes up and he's like, it needs socks. And Chubbs is in the background just like, give her the dang socks and go to bed. <laughs> that was the funniest thing ever. Oh my gosh. I love this book. I could not stop laughing the whole time at all. Like, I was laughing so <laughs> hard. It was not even funny. And I zoomed through the end of this book. Like, I was just like reading it and I was like, about, about right here. And then all of a sudden, done and I'm sitting there at the end looking at it like what 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 oh and um 
oh god, what did he say? What does he say? Oh, when he's hurt after battling or like fighting with Clancy and what's his face? Nat Martin? No, um, whatever the heck his name is. When he's fighting with him and then he comes back after being healed and he looks at Ruby and he's like, Do I feel, do I look as pretty as I feel? Oh, uh, that was funny. Oh my god, I love Liam. I love him. And oh when he when she was running away and he's like he's like, he came and got me and said you were okay and she's like, Get away from me! Why won't you just leave me alone? And he's like, Because you would never leave me. Oh god, I love him. Oh my god, he's perfect. And I'm really shocked that I like him because most of the guys that I like are sarcastic and rude and like like Jace or Puck or Damon from the Lux series. All of the guys that I like are sarcastic, witty, and funny. And I mean, he's sarcastic and witty, but he's such a good person and he's so down to earth. And he's nothing like Damon and Jace and Puck. Like, nothing like them. And I absolutely loved him and I thought, you know, shocker there. And it's funny because everybody was like, oh, there's going to be a love triangle between Clancy and D and Clancy and Liam and Ruby, but nope, just kidding, he's bad. Ugh. Okay, so I could go on forever about this book, as usual, but um, I'm not going to. If you guys stayed for the spoilers, well, now you just got spoiled about the ending. Like, seriously, come on. Now you know the ending. You're crazy. Um, so go pick up this book. And if you guys like this review, what? Um, if you guys like this book, let me know some of your favorite parts, but I would really like to know your guys' favorite things in this book. Um, what do you think is going on with Zoo? Um, I think that, well, after reading t In Time, I know what's going on, um, but I don't want to say anything about that, just in case you haven't read it. But knowing what's going on with Zoo, I hope she's in a safe place. I hope, I hope she's happy. Um going on with Sue. I hope she got she gets to California and she's happy and she's safe and with her family and um, I hope Clancy dies and I hope Chubbs is okay and I hope Liam and Ruby are together forever. And yeah, so that is it for this book review. Hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next week. Alright, bye!